won't want to be fashionably late for the Fast Bash 2011. This year, it's at the Detroit Institute of the Arts for the very first time. Joining me now are the co-chairs of the event, Lauren Ricolta and Lindsay Huddleston, who also chaired in 2006 or repeat performance for you. Uh, good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. Well, tell us all about Fast Bash. People that don't know, I've never been to one. How exciting is it? What can we expect? It's going to be a great time. Fast Bash is, uh, it's been for 35 years, it's been taking place. It's a great uh, combination of fashion and uh, beautiful things happen in Detroit. Being supported by Neiman Marcus, it's going to be for the first time at the Detroit Institute of Arts on the steps. So we're going to light what we're up uh, in Detroit. So we're going to definitely see some couture and things like that. And obviously models walking and, and kind of showing us the best fashion of the season. Yes, exactly. Uh, partner Neiman Marcus has been very kind and generous to us this year and they're putting on an art of fashion, fashion show, that will highlight uh, fall trends coming up this year. Right. Now this year the Fast Bash benefits the DIA. Uh, tell us what does it mean to have it there for the very first time? Is it a big deal for you guys? Yeah, we are so excited to have it there for the first time. Sure, sure. Um, big party on the front steps. Uh, Pre, uh, cocktail party beforehand on the front steps. Mm -hmm. The fashion show is actually going to take place in the Great Hall. Oh. It'll be an 80 foot runway. Um, 500 people jam packed in there having a great time. And then uh, after the event, we'll have a big, huge after party that tickets are still available for $75 at DIA.org. Excellent. And so, yeah, it's going to be beautiful, beautiful museum and a beautiful cityscape to enjoy. Now, we know, we know what to expect on the red carpet, but what can people accept uh, on the runway? Excuse me. Uh, what can people expect in the crowd? Should you dress up for this event? Is this one of those the best events of the year kind of thing? I think it's time for your urban chic to come out. I mean, there's a number <laughs> of great flavors here in the city of Detroit. You see a lot of the retro photos, but uh, it's really the time to really show your fashionable ideas. And we also want to thank uh, Greg Goose and Forte without their help along with Neiman Marcus, their support this wouldn't happen. But this is definitely a time for fashionable expression in the city. So. And we all like to have a good time, of course. But exactly how important is this for the DIA? How much does this benefit mean for them and keeping their exhibits and programs? Alive. Sure. Um, FJC, the Founders Juniors Council, over the past 30 years has uh, given a total of $2 million to the DIA. Excellent. Um, we're hoping to net over $100,000 uh, Thursday evening. Wow. Um, and yeah, our, uh, the money goes toward educational programming and grants that we give to them. A party for a very worthy cause. Lauren and Lindsay, thank you thank very much you. for joining us. And you can head over to our Facebook page, the Local 4 Facebook page, where we're